How do you turn decimals into percentages and percentages into decimals? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, before na pag-usapan natin yung turning fractions into percentages or fractions into decimals, if you haven't seen those videos yet, I will link them right here on the i button or in the description box din sa baba if you're watching on YouTube. But today, it's all about decimals and percentages. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel, and our cost to democratize education here in the Philippines. One way that you can do that is through buying our merch, like this Never Stop Learning shirt that I'm wearing right now. So if you're interested to get yours, you can visit shop.teamlaika.com to see the hoodies, mugs, caps, and other things that I designed for this team. So marami salamat sa inyo sa pagbili at sa pagsuporta, the proceeds dyan. Go to our Hope Fund, which helps support this channel and, of course, all our scholars. So salamat sa inyong lahat. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's start with our discussion. We're going to convert decimals into percentages and percentages into decimals. The um, first thing that we have to understand is that pagdating sa fractions, decimals, at percentages, may mga equivalent yan. Ibig sabihin, ang one-fourth ay pareho lang ng 0.25 at ang 0.25 naman ay 25%. So you can think of it as another way of writing yung figure na yon. Okay. Now, how do we do this? And again, if you think that this is too basic, uh, I'm actually making this video in response to your comments and messages asking kung paano kapag fraction yung percentage, kapag repeating number, and we're going to discuss all of those later. Okay? Pero doon muna tayo sa basics. Ang una natin pag-uusapan is how to convert yung decimal to percentage. Okay? Kung may decimal ka, tas magiging percent siya, ano ang gagawin mo? Now, one of the things na nakakonfuse ang maraming tao ay kung anong direction ang movement nito. Now, when you're converting a decimal to percent, ang movement niya is from left to right. You're actually going to move the decimal place two times from the left to the right. Now, how do you remember na left to right siya? Uh, parang memory device that I made up is this. If you list all the letters, di ba, from A to Z, you would notice ang D for decimal ay nauuna kaysa sa P4%. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung magkakaroon ng arrow from D to P, ang movement niya is to the right. Now, bakit natin minention yun? Kasi ang movement din ng decimal, pag gagawin mo yung decimal to percentage, is to the right din. Okay? So, yung 0.25 will be 25%. Okay? So, again, ha? Ang movement, dalawang beses, 1, 2, to the right. Following yung path ng letter D papunta sa letter P. Okay. Now, pagdating naman dun sa percent to decimal, so kung kanina, di ba, from D to P to the right, yung from P to D, pabalik naman siya to the left. So, yun din yung gagawin natin dito. Kung nandito ang percentage, ay eh, ang decimal ng percentage natin, 25% kasi siya, imove natin siya again to places, 1, 2. Okay? Dalawang pwesto, lalagay natin siya dito. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang 25% ay 0.25 kung gagawin ko siyang decimal. Okay? So, again, think about it. Yung P, nasa dulo, wanang dulo ng alphabet, papunta siya sa D na medyo nasa harap. So, it has to be to the left. Alright? Now, now that you know that, let's look at some examples. Paano kung ganito? You have 0.25%. And this type of medyo tricky na question ay madalas lumalabas sa mga aptitude exams. Anong kailangan natin gawin? It's actually going to be the exact same thing. 0.25% at dahil percent to decimal siya, di ba? Percent, movement niya to decimal is to the left. Yun lang din ang gagawin natin dito. Yun nga lang, yung decimal ay wala sa dulo. Ito ay nandito. Okay? So dito tayo magsisimula. We move it twice to the left. 1, at dahil wala ng uh, number dito, okay, you add another 0, 2. Okay, kompleto na, 1 and 2, nandito ngayon yung decimal natin. So, ibig sabihin, ang 0.25% ay 0. Point, ito yung decimal, 
zero, ito yung isang zero na yan, isa pang zero, which is this, two, five. So, the answer is zero point zero zero two five. Okay? Huwag kayong magkakamali na makukulangan ng isang zero or mamamali yung pwesto ng decimal kasi maiiba or mamamali yung, yung answer ninyo sa tanong. Now, another a medyo tricky na example would be this. If you have a fraction na percent, kagawin mo siyang decimal. Now, again, in real life situations, medyo hindi siya madalas gamitin. Pero sa mga exams, lumalabas siya. Half a percent or one half percent. Tapos ikoconvert mo siya into decimal. Anong gagawin natin? Sa ganitong case, one of the things that we have to do first is to deal with a fraction. Now, meron tayong video on converting fractions to decimals. If you haven't seen that yet, ililink ko na lang din sa i button sa taas. Kasi importante yun na skill. Now, dahil ang 1 half is 1 divided by 2, 0 0.5. Ito ay 0 0.5 percent. Okay? Na hindi pa tayo tapos dyan kasi hindi pa siya decimal. So, ibig sabihin, from here, dito ko gagawin yung movement natin, di ba? Percent to decimal is to the left. Dito natin siya gagawin. So, you have 1, 2, plus 1, 0 here. So, ibig sabihin, this will be 0 0.0, isang 0, plus uh, isa pang 0, 5. Ito yung final answer natin. Okay? Half a percent is 0 0.005. Next, we're going to convert decimals to percentage. Pero this time, may repeating number tayo. Now, kapag sinabing repeating number or repeating decimal, meron siyang bar sa itaas. Okay, now, we already have a discussion on converting repeating decimals to fractions. Kung yun ay nahanap ninyo, nakalink sa i-button at sa description box na lang. Pero ang ibig sabihin lang nito is, para siyang inuulit or pwede mo siyang isulat na paulit-ulit. So, 0 0.12, tapos yung 2, paulit-ulit yung 2. Okay? So, yung 1, isang beses lang siya lalabas, pero yung 2, kung saan merong bar, okay? Kung saan nakapatong yung bar, yun kasi yung mauulit, paulit-ulit lang yung 2. Okay? Now, now that we know that, ano ang gagawin natin? Una sa lahat, sabi natin we're going to convert decimal to percentage. Okay? So, D to P, ang movement is to the right. Dalawang beses. So, ibig sabihin ito, decimal na ito, i-move natin ng isang beses. Tapos, isa pa. Here. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, ang sagot natin ng percentage is 12 point. Okay? na dito na medyo mas tricky ng kaunti. Kasi kapag nilagay kong 12% lang, kulang yun. Kasi meron ka pang infinity or paulit-ulit na 2. So, what you could do would be to write it as 12.22% or kung para mas maganda, lagyan mo ng bar. 12.2 with 2 being a repeating number percent. Okay? So, pag nasa options to sa aptitude test ninyo, you can look for either this or this. Okay? Importante yung sign na yan. At again, yung 2 ang nauulit. It's time for your quick quiz. You're going to convert decimals to percentages, percentages to decimals. Iba-ibang uri, iba-ibang klase na pinag-usapan natin today. And lima ito, so I'm going to give you time to answer them. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Let's start with the first one. Ito, medyo simple to, kasi 22%. So again, we're going to talk about percent. Gagalaw natin to, magiging decimal siya, to the left, ang movement. So dati siyang nandito, 1, 2. So the answer is 0 0.22. This is actually quite simple. Okay? Next. Okay, so if this is a percentage. Gagawin natin siyang decimal. Okay. Na kung gagawin natin yon, again the movement will be to the left. So ibig sabihin yung 0.7% natin, igagalaw natin yung decimal place na ito, 1 2 dalawang beses. Okay? Dito siya mapupunta. 
So, para mawala yung symbol na percent, ang mangyayari would be 0.007 na yung 7 ay may bar. Now, very important na ito ay hindi kapareho ng 0.007 tas itong lahat yung may bar. Bakit? Kasi itong nasa right side, yung in red, pag sinulat ko siya, ganito itsura niyan. 0.007007. Okay? Kasi yung buong nasa ilalim ng payong or ng bar ay mauulit. So, hindi ito ganyan. It has to be like this. Yung 7 lamang ang merong bar. Okay? Paano kung ganito? 0.012. Now, in this case, meron kang decimal. Gagawin ko siyang percentage. So, ang movement is to the right. You have 1, 2. So, now you have 1.2. Tapos, ilalagay natin symbol ng percent. Okay? Yan na yung sagot natin. Now, number 4. Again, percentage naman siya uli. Gagawin natin decimal. So, same ng ginawa natin kanina, yung fraction gagawin muna natin siyang decimal. So, 1 over 5, this is 1 divided by 5 or 0 0.2. Okay? Kung naguluhan kayo doon, again, may lesson naman tayo sa converting ng fractions to decimals. But the idea is, it's 1 divided by 5. Yung nasa taas, i-divide mo sa nasa ilalim. Now, again, kung maglulong division tayo dyan, Walang kasha na 5 sa 1. So, magiging 0 point. Magiging 10 ito kasi mag-only 0 tayo dito, right? So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Tapos, okay ka na dyan. So, 0 0.2 percent na siya. Now, kapag percent na siya, pwede na natin gamitin yung technique natin. ba Sabi natin, we move to the left twice. So, ibig sabihin, 1, 2. May isa pa. So, the answer is 0 0.002. Ito yung decimal. This is a decimal. Gagawin natin siyang percentage. Now, be very careful dito kasi again, repeating number siya. Kung gagawin natin siyang percent, di ba, mag-move tayo to the right. So, you move 1, 2. Okay? So, this will be 132. But, dahil repeating number siya, ibig sabihin may paulit-ulit na 3, 2 digit dyan. Paulit-ulit din yun. Pwede natin para mas accurate tayo. 132.32 with 32 being a repeating decimal. Okay? Yan yung magiging percent natin. 132.32%. Now, again, sa exam, pwede nyo gamitin yung 132.32 lamang, walang bar kung wala siya sa options, pero lalo na kung integrated siya sa loob ng isang word problem, make sure that you remember that this is a repeating number, okay? Alright, I hope you got all of these correctly if you didn't, that's okay, I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account, so if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at likeamarevelio on Instagram for more quick quiz questions at the Instagram story, and for throwback quiz, quick quiz questions, you can also follow at Team Laika on Instagram, patayin na rin yung mga important announcements natin for the review program, pre-order ng books doon natin siya i-announce, and of course if you're on TikTok, I'm also on TikTok gumagawa rin tayo ng quick quiz questions doon currently we have about 90 questions, so if you want to go and check that out, you can look for at Team Laika on TikTok, at T-A-M-L-Y-Q-A, and at Laika Maravilla naman for the more personal videos, motivation tips, advice, at mga, wala na, skits that I come up with, just for fun. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Send a message para mahanap namin yung perfect fit sa inyo, sa inyong needs, at sa exam na kukunin ninyo. And as always, subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. I would hate for you to miss those. And as we always say sa channel to, Never stop learning. Aja aja. Kaya niya. And I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you want more video lessons, there will be one right here that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me on a more personal level, I have my second channel, your second uh, vlogging channel natin, like I'm review vlogs right here. Subscribe to that channel for behind the scenes videos. At iba pa na nire-request See you.